Pirate Pete's Talk Like a Pirate by Kim Kennedy, illustrated by Doug Kennedy. Pirate Pete had the most amazing ship ever to sail the high seas, but he needed a crew. Not any old crew would do, however. I need me a pirate crew, Pete told his parrot, and I know just where to find one, Rascal Island. To Rascal Island we go, cried the bird. Pete spun the wheel toward the sea of mischief, and soon his speedy ship had reached Rascal Island. Pete dropped anchor in the bay, and then he hung a sign across the ship's bow, Buccaneers Wanted. Before long, a boat filled with rascals rode up to the ship. Pete rubbed his hands in, in glee. They were the dirtiest, most mischievous, and sneakiest looking scallywags and scurvy dogs he'd ever laid his eyes on. So there's all the people that came. One by one, the rascals climbed aboard the ship. Listen up, mateys, announced the parrot. If ye wants to sail with Pete, then ye gots to prove ye got what it takes. Pete nodded and declared, ye needs a peg leg and an old eye patch. A fierce looking hook and a beard ye can scratch. Ye gots to load a cannon and know how to fire it, but most of all, ye gots to talk like a pirate. So those are all the things they need to learn to do to be on that ship. Our rascal stepped forward, loaded the cannon, and fired it. Nice firing, said Pete, and I see ye gots a peg leg hook and eye patch, and that beard of yours, does it hanker for a scratch? It's, it is quite itchy, answered the man, especially during the summer when the weather tends to be sultry. Blow me down, bellowed Pete. You don't talk like a pirate. Walk the plank. So that guy didn't talk like a pirate. So off he goes down the plank into the sea. As the man splashed overboard, Pete hollered, You should have said, when the sun's a blazing, me beard gets the itches. Worse than a bucket of sand and down me britches. Next, ordered the parrot. So off they go to find a pirate. Pete squinted at the rest of the rascals and said, You gots to be stubborn and mighty cranky. You gots to be dirty and awfully stanky. You gots to load a cannon and know how to fire it. But most of all, you gots to talk like a pirate. A rascal stepped forward, loaded the cannon, and fired it. Nice firing, said Pete, and I see that you're plenty dirty and stanky, but is you stubborn and cranky? Oh, indeed, replied the rascal. Sometimes I'm very irritable, especially when I don't eat my breakfast. Shiver me timbers, shouted Pete. You don't talk like a pirate. Walk the plank. So she doesn't talk like a pirate either, so she's not good enough. As the rascal went overboard, Pete cried, Ye should have said, I's as mean as a sh shark that's stuck in a tub when I've not scarfed my morning grub. So there she goes off the plank because she didn't talk like a pirate. Next, squawked the bird. Pete glared at the rascals and said, Ye got to love treasure, why it's your duty to plunder ship and shore for gleaming booty. Ye gots to load a cannon and know how to fire it, but most of all, ye gots to talk like a pirate. A rascal stepped forward, loaded the cannon, and fired it. Nice firing, said Pete, and judging by the gold and rubies you're flaunting, I reckon you've done some plundering in your day. That is correct, said the rascal. I've misappropriated a number of fine jewels without permission. Blimey, cried Crete. You don't talk like a pirate. Walk the plank. So that guy knows how to plunder some jewels, but he doesn't know how to talk like a pirate. So off he goes. And Pete kept his jewels. As the rascal leaped overboard, Pete shouted, You should have said, I've pilfered loot on land and at sea, and no man say so has ever stopped me. So that is going to be the third person, the third rascal that tried to become a pirate. Next, flared the parrot. Pete shook his head. He had finally lost his patience. He curled up his lip at the last rascal and declared, 
You gots to trim the sails and mind the deck. You gots to be brave in case of shipwreck. You gots to load a cannon and know how to fire it. But most of all, you gots to talk like a pirate. The rascal walked forward, loaded the cannon, and fired it. Nice firing, said Pete. But is ye brave, cause no lily-livered seafarer is gonna sail with me. I can assure you that I am extremely courageous, said the rascal. I will conduct myself with the valor at all times. Confound it, shouted Pete, stomping his foot. You don't talk like a pirate. Walk the plank. So another rascal that doesn't know how to talk like a pirate. So that's going to be the fourth one in the sea. As the rascal dropped overboard, Pete yelled, You should have said, I've not a yellow-bellied bone from me head to me toes. I'll stand brave upon this ship wherever she goes. Can you believe it? Pete moaned to his parrot. Out of all of them rascals, not a one was fit for me crew. Tis true, squawked the bird. By the powers, they've no more than a bunch of oh, squiffies and sprogs. None of them fit to go a swashbuckling and plundering for pieces of eight upon the briny blue on this here vessel. So the parrot agrees with the pirate. None of them were fit to be pirates. Pete blinked. Why, you talk just like a pirate, he cheered to the bird. You're all the crew I needs. Way anchor. So all along, his pirate was going to be his mate because he talked like most pirate. Aye, aye, said the pirate, and off they sailed back to the high seas when Pete and his bird, a pirate always gets the last word. They looked for a crew so they could hire it. But blimey, no one could talk like a pirate. All right. So we are going to make our own little pirate. And it's quite simple. So we're starting with a paper plate. And I've painted the face of the paper plate. So in this case, it has lighter skin, but you can do whatever color of skin your pirate has. And the next step would be to paint across the top of your plate. So on my sample I did blue where he has his headband. On this one I did red. So we're just going to go through step by step. So the next thing that I'm going to do is take my white paint and I just need a very little dot so I'm not even going to make a container for it. I'm going to do a little circle for his eye that's not under his patch and then I'm going to use the rest of that paint and I'm going to just dot it on here. This is the handkerchief that's on his head and often those handkerchiefs are polka dotted or they have a design on them. So I'm just going to use that paint to do that. So there is his eye which we're going to just leave to dry. and. The dots on his hat or on his handkerchief around his head. So then the next step is going to be to add some hair on the sides because his hair is going to stick out around his headband that he's got on. And we just need a little bit, so I have some just brown yarn here. I'm just going to cut it, and it doesn't need to be perfect because pirates don't get very many haircuts. So we're just going to add that down the sides of our plate. So if you wanted, you could do some uh, yarn in a braid or something of that nature if you wanted to have longer dreadlocks or braids. So I'm just going to stick it on there and it's going to look messy. But that's okay, because that's what pirates look like. And our next step is going to be the pirate's hat that he puts on over top of his headband that keeps his hair all underneath his handkerchief. So I'm just going to start with a black piece of paper and it doesn't need to be anything special so what you can start with uh, to get the general shape is a square hat but we know that our pirate doesn't have a square hat but that's the general shape that you're going for. Then you just need to take your scissors and roughly round out the corners 
And pirate hats are always squashed and ripped and wrecked and dirty. So you don't want it to look like it's a perfect hat. You want it to just kind of look messy. So we're going to take our scissors and we're just going to cut that, kind of shape it. Give it some rounded corners and some character. I'm just going to cut that out. That's how my hat ended up. So I'm going to attach that on and put some glue just on the bottom of that because it's probably going to stick up over the top of the plate. I'm going to put that on. I'm going to put it on a little bit crooked. So there's this hat. And then, of course, my pirate has an eye patch over top of his eye because he's probably in a pirate fight. And he probably lost his eye. So we're going to have to put a patch on that to keep it covered and keep it clean. So we're going to cut out an eye patch. Basically just a half circle there. Glue that on. So you're going to line that up on the opposite side of where, so his one eye is there and his other eye would be here. So there's his eye patch. And then I'm just going to take my marker and I'm going to draw the string for his eye patch. This eye patch would be held on by a string. And we're going to just put that over top of his other eye. So that's what holds on his patch. And then we're just waiting for this white to dry before we draw in the rest of his eye on there. So while we do that, we're going to add some little pieces, little marks. So that's going to be his beard that he hasn't shaved in a long time. So if you wanted, you could take some more of your yarn and you could make a big long beard for your pirate. Or you can just do this, which just looks like his stubble from not shaving. If you wanted to have a long beard, you can have that as well. And then just lightly, I'm going to add just a little curve for his nose. I'm going to do the same thing for a mouth. My pirate's going to be happy, so I'm going to give him like a nice side smile. And then when you're getting near the end and you're almost dry there, you can add that. So at the very end, you can add a few finishing touches. You can put a little skull and crossbones on his hat, or you could put some like stitches to make it look like his hat was sewed up. And there is your pirate. So you can practice talking pirate talk.